Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here in my clinic today, just filming today because I'm a little short of time sometimes. So I want to talk about Disney. Disney again, I was going to make a video yesterday. I didn't have a chance to do that. But then what I was going to talk about actually came out in the news. I was going to talk about possibly then getting to 50 million subscribers on Disney Plus and whether that's enough to get them over the hump. Now, we see the price shot up after hours about $7, a little over $7, and um, that's always a nice sign, but is that really enough to actually help us out? Now, if you take into consideration the parks, all the entertainment that they're losing, the merchandising, the movies that they're losing, out on all that money all that revenue that's gonna come in the revenue that's gonna come in from about 50 million um, of the subscribers that they have for about you know seven dollars each more or less you know that's what three hundred and fifty million something like that per month in a in a quarter they make a little over a billion dollars that's not even close to what they can make with all the other revenue that they're losing at this time. Now, you see the stock market going up, people are feeling good, they think it's gonna stay high. For Disney, I don't know if it's actually gonna stay high because I think it's gonna come back down because people are still gonna be a little bit hesitant to go to the parks, to go to the movies, to go to different places that Disney has a stronghold on. And because it is more of a participation type of stock, everybody has to go to these parks and be there and if there's no social distancing at this point it's going to take a few months before that actually gets better so the revenue lost is going to be tremendous it's not going to be made back by what they're making with disney plus now if you consider it to netflix netflix has what about 160 over 160 million subscribers right now but they charge double the amount that disney charges so that means that for disney to even get to that point of making maybe like two million per month um, or two billion per month they would have to double the amount that Netflix has as far as subscribers so that's quite a bit of subscribers to get to I don't doubt that they will get to a hundred thousand a hundred million subscribers really soon and that's gonna be nice to have some revenue coming in and I'm sure that after a period of time that initial 699 that they're charging for ESPN, Hulu and Disney is sorry there was a call there but it's going to bump up the amount they charge for all these different services and so then that price will get closer and closer to what Netflix is charging over time for sure for sure and if they get very good at doing their own movies to come out on Disney Plus it's going to make a big difference overall now look at the um, amount of shares that Disney has they have about 1.8 billion shares out their stock price right now is about 105 107 I anticipate that's going to drop I'm not gonna buy any more Disney at this point because even though people are very optimistic that price is gonna drop when their revenue numbers come out and it's gonna go down a little bit and so that's what I'm waiting for on Disney at this point don't know how far it's gonna go down if it's in the 80s yeah I'll buy if it's in the 70s definitely buy 90s maybe buy uh, it just depends it depends on that so if you compare the amount of shares that that Disney has 1.8 billion uh, and their share price is a hundred and hundred and seven hundred and five Compared to Netflix, they have about uh, half a billion shares, but a little under 500 million shares only. Their share price is in the 300s, and they're doing fantastic um, because of the amount of shares, because of the revenue that they're losing, Disney's stock price. I don't foresee it going higher. If it's going higher, it's just because people like Disney. The name carries a lot of weight to it, and that makes a big difference but to get the business going again is going to take more than just talk once we start seeing numbers we're going to start seeing those revenues come down then maybe the stock market's going to react to that a little bit more and if people are not getting back to the parks very soon 
may, if this summer goes not as and not as anticipated and people aren't getting back there then that's going to make a huge difference and so that's what I'm talking about when we're talking about Disney about Disney Plus not being enough to get us over the hump with Disney it's going to be a matter of time personally we're not professionals here but personally what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the numbers for Disney to put out how they're doing before I invest more into Disney at this point. Now, on another point, I want to mention here in Laredo, Texas, we are doing fantastic as far as how the city has approached and how aggressive they've been in trying to treat COVID-19. We've done very, very good. Our numbers are not bad, and we hope that we keep on doing that, and we hope that everybody keeps on with the social distancing because that's what's making a big, big difference here in locally in Laredo in South Texas. It's going to make a huge difference because we have to remember we don't have the hospital capacity to deal with a lot of people that are would be intubated or be in the hospital at this point. We really have to work to keep on getting these numbers down and get through this crisis and this pandemic hopefully mostly unscathed guys i wish the world a lot of blessings and thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and we'll talk to you soon